I'm Kevin Phillips and you're watching Mariners TV. Graham, a tough afternoon, what are your reflections on that game? Exactly what you've just said there, yeah, tough, hi. Um, we knew it was going to be tough, you know, um, Chris always has his teams well organised and um, we're fighting scrap for everything. Um, I think it's safe to say the conditions possibly suited them a little bit more than they did us, but we tried. That's all we can ask of the lads is to, to give it a, a really good go. Um, and particularly that, um, maybe the, the, the last 20 minutes of the first half and certainly the last 15 in the second half, we'll give it a right good go. Um, I just think everyone's got to appreciate that we're asking the lads to almost play two completely different types of, of game when we come to a place like this. We're, we're asking them to play um, out from the back at Mariners and, and wherever you go, which are de decent surfaces. And then we come to, uh, to Whitby here today um, on a pitch that used to be magnificent a few years ago and it's deteriorated for whatever reason. And um, it's very, very difficult to play. Um, fair play to Whitby because they've found a way to, to be successful in the game. Um, were they, better, were they the better team? I probably don't think so. I think it was a very, very even game on a, on, in difficult conditions. And uh, and they've shown two bits of quality to, to get the goals. And the second goal, I think we come at a bad time for us. We had a bit of momentum at that stage. To concede them must have been a, a big blow. It was exactly said that in the uh, in the dressing room there, that um, we, we were on top in the game and we conceded at a poor time. Um, I thought we carved open two or three good opportunities in the first half. They've carved open one and they've took it, and that's the difference. Um, so fair play to them, they've, they've earned their three points today. Um, we, we're just treating it as a really big learning curve for us. We've got a, a lot of young lads in there who are new to the squad, who maybe haven't had to come to a place like this, um, where the, the conditions are so poor. And um, it's just another, another thing for them to learn from, um, to look at, learn from, get better, um, and realise that you have to adapt your game. Um, when you come to places like this and, uh, and like I say, it'll be really good for their, their uh, development. And we're pleased with the spirit towards the end as well, the chance that managed to create a 2-0 and 2-1 down at the end. Yeah, but that would, uh, we're not going to question the lads' characters, you know, they're, uh, they always give it everything they've got. Sometimes, obviously, you can't win every game. Um, like I say, we're pushing and pushing and pushing, shoved uh, shows you up there for the last seven, eight minutes and uh, you obviously brought people in and created a couple of chances off it. But um, yeah, it's just a... Been a frustrating day today. It wasn't the supporters today as well. A lot of them made the journey down and made plenty of noise during the game. Yeah, look, they were, they were brilliant in the numbers that turned out. And we, you know, some of the comments behind us were they were getting frustrated that we couldn't play the brand of football that we normally do. And we get we completely get that. But to the same degree, they've, they've also got to understand that when you when you come to a place like this, it is virtually impossible to to do that. Um, so yeah, hopefully, look. They, we haven't got the right result, but we really appreciate the support they've given us. We're still top of the league going into the New Year's Day game against Scarborough. What are your thoughts on that game and the kind of test you're going to get against Darren Kelly's side? Yeah, um, I think we've had a positive result today, haven't they? So, um, yeah, it's always tough against Scarborough. Um, I don't think we've had an easy game yet, so we're not expecting anything different. Um, it be good to be back at Mariners. I'm sure Crete will get the pitch sorted into a really, really good condition for us to, to play the brand of football we do want to play. Um, but like I say, it'll be a, it'll be a tough test for us, and uh, one we're looking forward to. Um, obviously, like I say, we're, we're still top of the pile. The results have pretty much gone for us today, um, and we've just got to look at it now from almost this this um, first half of the season, going into um, the new year, going into the second half of the season. Can we improve on the the first half total? And uh, if we do that, we're going to be very hard to beat. Just finding we still had a few players missing today, like the Phil Turnbull we'll miss out today. Is there a chance that some of those will be back? Yeah, Phil's not well. He, listen, I think Lee spoke about it in the um, in his post-match interview um, that Phil did magnificently well against Ratcliffe to get through whatever it was, 70 minutes or whatever. Um, and we really appreciated his efforts, but he's just not made it. He's uh, he's admitted himself he doesn't feel anywhere near 100%. Um, so yeah, Phil possibly could be back for, for New Year. Um, so yeah, we'll just have to assess over the next few days and see if we can um, put as strong a team out as possible.